Oh shit, did it again. Wow. Okay. Hello everyone and welcome to the finale. The actual finale of Mother 3. This is the final area of the game. So I am 100% certain this is the finale. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. This is it. Hello, frog. Save my game, please. 23 hours. Same level as I was before. I think it's because in the, that other one, I was just playing my, for myself. And I was trying to search for every little secret. Oh. Nice. Yeah, I was trying to uh, find every little secret. So, I was searching everywhere. <sighs> Is that there forever now? Because that would be cool if it was. Yeah, it looks like it is. So let's go. The final area of the game. This is it. It kind of has that uh, Gygus feel. Like Gygus' uh, area sort of feel to it. I want to fight them, but at the same time, I don't want to. same time, I just want to get to the final boss. And... Okay, I guess you guys don't want to fight either. Oh, you do. I know there's a treasure chest here somewhere. Ow, ow, ow. That's fine. Gonna just... Done. Okay. I'm gonna just beat you. We're gonna end this, finally. Ooh, nice. Get some last minute level ups. Um, well, maybe you don't chase after me. You're just floating around so randomly. Okay, crash it down. That's fine. 70 damage is nothing. What else you got? Done. Okay. Do 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 do. Mm, hear those footprints. Those footsteps. Those little footy steps. I guess I'm gonna fight you. Ooh, 374! 75 damage! Nice pony! Yeah. The enemy left the present inside there's the magic pudding! Nice! That'll be helpful. I almost think I should give that to me, because I'm gonna need it. Maybe. I probably won't need it, but it'll be it could guarantee my victory in the final battle. Boom. Done. Do, 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 do. Trisha's level's now 59. Inside, there's a cup of life noodles. Also very handy to have. Grind for that shit. Should be a present here somewhere. That's Flint's hat. Oh no, Flint. Flint, are you okay? Daddy! That... that masked man. He's Klaus. Corman, he's your brother. Klaus. I don't know why he's obeying this porky guy, but as a father, I finally found the son I lost. Corman, be happy. I finally... finally found your brother. The final needle. Corman, make sure you pull it. I'll catch up with you in a bit. Don't worry about me. Just hurry to the needle. The final needle. Yeah, I'm... There's a reason I'm... I, come on, I just want to... I'm fine. I'm not hurt too bad. No, Klaus didn't do this to me. I tried to fight the porky that's inside him. Yep, okay. Make sure I pull it. Got it. Yep. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm going to pull it. Yeah, I'm... There's something... There's something I want to talk about. Yep. Uh-huh. I gotta keep talking to you, because this, yep. There's a little hidden tidbit here that I want people to see. Would you just please point it out? Jeez, you're persistent. You're wondering about my hair, aren't you? That's right, I'm bald as a bean. 
Thank you. I wanted you to admit that. That's all I wanted from you. See, when, uh... Because there was someone who had an interview with the creator of this game. Uh... The toy was his name, I think? And they asked... They brought up the theory of Ness being Flint. If Ness was Flint. And his response was... He pointed out to that particular scene. He's like, at the end of Mother 3, when Flint loses his hat, keep talking to him. And that, that was his response to it. So, like, you see that and you're just like, how does that answer anything? Real bat. First off, let's... Uh, let's drop this, because I don't want that. Let's drop... No, I'll keep that. Um, so first, give me the real bat. So I'm a, I'm equip it. A bat that brims with mystery, myster mystery and courage. Boom. It's probably the real, the legendary bat. Uh, give the antidote to Boney. The cup of life noodles to Boney. The secret herb to Boney. Hot dog sushi, give it to Boney. Um, give me all <clears throat> like give me all this magic pudding and uh honey shower give to bony do you have any more pudding and whatnot i'll take it all okay, that's it, Trisha. wait what is it right because it does up my defense but the uh yeah the the awesome ring that i'm wearing is uh, the Master Stick, give to Eltricia. Eye Drops, give to Eltricia. I'm keeping a hold of uh, Bernard and Charles. They're coming with me! Saltwater Gun, give to Eltricia. Uh, you got any more... You got any more of them... Uh... Magic Cake, give to me. Magic Pudding, give to me. Razor and lipstick, give to me. <laughs> um, magic tart, give to me. Okay. That'll do it. My pocket is full of magic PP healing items. This is a dead end for some reason go. Blip, blip, blip. Stop! Stop! Stop right there! <laughs> this really is no time for games anymore. I don't feel like letting you go any further. If you're after the needle, then don't worry. My adorable little monster is on its way to it as we speak. <laughs> uh, the monster's name is Klaus? Its name was Klaus? That almost sounds like a person's name! But now it's my robot. Not even a fragment of life remains inside it. It's Master Porky Slave Robot. It does whatever I say. It acts on my will alone. It's my double. It doesn't know anything about who you are. <coughs> oh, that actually hurts the throat. Porky blocks the way. Bring it, Porky. Defense up. We're going. Let's do this. Offense down. Um, scary mask. We gotta use everything we got. Super bomb. Pew! What did Porky do? Didn't work. Offense down. Defense up. 
What did he do? Holy shit! That did some massive damage. Okay, we're gonna just do a little bit of this. Go effects down, scary mask, throw another super bomb, because I got it. Pew! Go fence down! Holy shit, Ultrician, you took some major hits there. Thum. What did Porky do? <laughs> your vic your defeat is assured now. I'm gonna raise our defense again. More offense down. Give it another. No, okay. Ah, oh, throw throw a honey shower at him. Blech. All of a sudden, a swarm of bees attacked honey covered Porky. Boom, 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 what did Porky do? One damage to... <laughs> what did Porky do? Just one damage. His offense is as low as it can go. Is your health still, your health still going up, it, ain't it? It is. Alright, so... Let's attack him. Um, you have anything that's useful? Salt water gun? I don't think that works. Uh, Peaky Freeze Omega. Just attack. Sniff him! Sniff, sniff, sniff! Bark! But he didn't smell anything. What did Porky do? One damage. That's what Porky did. Okay, he's got a frickin' goddamn... Uh, PK, sh PSI shield. That's a no-go. Ah, uh, heal yourself. Um, tickle him. Yes. What did you do, Porky? Let me, let me fill you in on something. No matter how much you attack me, I'll never die. Even if I somehow wind up beaten, I'll never die. Bet you didn't know that, did you? Oh, <coughs> Jeez, that actually hurts the throat. But I love the voice. Okay, my defense is up, so I just gotta lower his defense. Defense down. Tickle him some more. Because PSI ain't working. Defense down! Toom. Use a PSI counter device. You'll never die, huh? Well, I'm gonna whoop your ass. Down. Defense down. Okay, his defense is as low as possible. Did something. Oh. Oh, he can do that. I don't like that. I don't like that. I want bit. Ooh, a refresh. I should do that. Mmm. You know what? I'm doing that. That would be helpful. Refresh. Heal, uh, Corman so that he's ready to attack the next turn. Attack next turn, yeah. What did what did Porky do? Nothing. And then you get rid of the. Uh, yes. PSI counter device. We're not using we're not using PSI on you. See, this is great, because he can only do... He really only does one damage to us. So, the refresh is fully healing. It's fully healing the damage he does to us. I've gone through time and space so many times that I haven't aged like a normal person. Who knows? I might be a thousand years old. Or even ten thousand years old. But despite that, I'm still the same kid at heart. Isn't that funny? Is It is, isn't it? 
Does it make you laugh? <laughs> Are you laughing at me? Yeah, I am. What did Borky do? One, one, one. <laughs> this is hilarious. He's like the most threatening... Like, he's quote-unquote the final boss, because he's like the most threatening thing there is at the end of the game. If the dragon wakes up, he might end up destroying everything and extinguishing all life. Even so... <laughs> So I'll be alive. Me and the dragon will be the only things left alive in the world. In the world. I'm more than ready for that possibility. <laughs> My eternal life, I will see the world through to its end until everyone who won't like me is gone. Well, I'm still gonna kick your ass. Pork used PSI counter device. Doesn't work. What did Porky do? He threw bombs! No, no! This refresh move has actually saved my life countless times. Because there was times when I was at, like... There were times when I was at, like, uh, I was dying, and then Refresh saved me. Thank you for playing along with me all the way to the end like this. I'm actually a pretty nice guy, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I'm also gonna kick your ass. Porky was PSI counter device. It didn't work! What did Porky do? He threw a bunch of fucking bombs! Ouch! That saved me. Then I'm gonna use Life of Omega. What did Porky do? Threw a bunch of fucking more bombs. Ouch. Ouch. I'm dead. I'm alive again! And there goes Boney. And there goes Ultrisha. Fuck! Okay, things just got serious. Uh, healing. Ooh. Ooh, me likey. Do you have something that can... Use a friend's yo-yo. Actually, no. Use the favorite pizza. Oh, I didn't mean to get it! Ah! There goes Gregor. You see what I'm doing here, right? <laughs> Sorry if I just broke the mic there, but oh, that was genius! Oh, I'm patting myself on the back for that one. Ooh, letting Gregor die just as healing Omega got to him. Genius. I just want to see where everybody's health is at before I make my next move. Because I might use Life Up Omega, but this might have fully healed everybody, I think. I think it fully healed everybody. I mean, I lost the... I lost the lipstick, but... Everybody's okay. you do through more bombs I'll never die I'll never die nor will I ever be beaten but it appears my machine has run out of energy for the moment <laughs> Corman you haven't won just so you know 
going to duck inside this absolutely safe capsule for the time being. When I'm inside, no attack will have any effect on me whatsoever. I'm sure you're thinking to yourself, yeah, right, there's no such thing as absolutely, but there is such a thing, and it's this. The absolutely safe capsule I tricked Dr. Ann Donuts and the Mr. Saturn into making for me. Me! Me! All for me! <laughs> Porky sealed himself inside the absolutely safe capsule. The absolutely safe castle doesn't do anything. Inside the absolutely safe capsule, Porky is sticking his tongue out at you. Because Porky is sealed inside the absolutely safe capsule, the battle is, by definition, over. I can't do anything to him. He can't do anything to me. Thank God that voice was actually killing my throat. Oh my. As evil as old Porky is, here is, I feel bad for him now. It's true that the absolutely safe capsule that the Mr. Saturns and I developed together can protect one from every manner of danger. It is an absolutely safe capsule, but once you enter it, you can never exit it. Even what's outside the absolutely safe capsule is absolutely safe. I did tell Porky in a hushed voice that he shouldn't use it yet, but all he can do now is live for eternity inside the capsule, in absolute safety. Who knows, in a way, he may have gotten exactly what he wanted. What do you think? Is it wrong for me to think this way? No. It's not wrong, you say? I wonder. I somehow get the feeling it is. Not really. You're right. In a way, he accidentally he actually got what he wanted. He's safe. So if the dragon kills everybody, he's safe. He's alive. Want to roll him around for a bit? No, no, it's okay. It is absolutely safe after all. Rolly rolly. Wee! Rolly rolly. <laughs> Porky is sticking his tongue out of you from inside the absolutely safe capsule. Okay, Bernard, I hear you. I hear you, Bernard. You want me to keep going? We're almost there. Discharge electricity. Ding! I'm trying to think what the dragonfly's name is. I just forgot. I'm having a brain fart. Bernard and... Uh, Charles. Bernard and Charles. I knew it started with a C. Bernard and Charles. Do you need something? Yes. Do you need to save your game or transfer? Save. Actually, wait. I am the final frog in the game. It's been such a short time, though it seems too long, too. In any case, thank you for your continued patronage throughout it all. For me and all the other frogs, I thank you. Teardrop. I wanted to do that because I want to jump in here first before. The final frog of the game. We're going to do it. I don't care. Like, right now it says 24 minutes. This is probably going to go, like, an hour long. Because this next battle is going to be a doozy. And then you got the credits and, ugh. Yep, final frog of the game. So long, froggy. Thanks for your help. Here we go. I don't have any more of my mementos, and I completely forgot to pick up the ones from the item guy. But we're doing this! The final fight of the game. And it's... A serious one. Corman's Franklin badge reflected the masked man's lightning back at him. The mass 
man took damage from the lightning bolt. So here's the thing with this battle. It's only Corman versus the Mask Man. If I were to revive Altricia, Gregor, or Boney in any way, shape, or form during this fight, the Mask Man would just use his electric attack to instantly knock them all out and only take 100 damage. And that would just waste my PP. So, that being said, I'm first going to raise my de defense. Attacks. 82. Good on you. I'm going to raise my defense some more. I've never done this particularly before. Maybe I shouldn't, because I don't think it matters how much damage I do to him. And I'm just wasting my PP. Yeah. For some reason, Corman couldn't attack. Mm. Mm. For some reason, Corman couldn't attack. Mm. Mm. I fuck Gamma! health go up. This is going to be a long and arduous battle because it result it involves a lot of this. Letting my health go up. Because if I let it go too quickly the time it would take for me to keep things going will uh like he he'll kill me. If I just proceeded normally I will run out of PP and I won't get to the end of the battle. So I have to let my health go up and then skip through skip through the part of the parts of the battle in in big chunks yeah raising raising my freaking defense did nothing for some reason Corman couldn't attack I don't have a shield PK game Omega Boom! This is a very touching battle. Corman. From somewhere, you heard someone call your name. For some reason, Corman couldn't attack. Mm. Mm. Still can't attack. Mm. Taking all these hits. See, the trick is to wait till your health drops to 100, then use Life Up Gamma. That gives you plenty of time to be able to beat him with help, with PP to spare. Klaus. Which I'm going to need to very soon. It was he now has voice. It failed to reach the masked man. For some reason, Corman couldn't attack. Mm. Mm. Life up, Gamma! Oh, shouldn't have done that. My bad. Ooh. I made a mistake. My bad. I gotta let my health go up. Because you see, if he does, if he does the mortal damage and my health actually goes down to zero, then from where it is right now, it'll drop, and I can't have that. <sighs> That's fine. I should still be able to win. I gave myself all this magic gelatin. I probably won't use it, but I gave all this magic gelatin just so, in the event I need, I screw up a few times. Hey, my health is two forty, two forty. My health and BB are the same. I couldn't attack. 
Oh, you had to ruin it. Ugh. With the power, of I still have Bernard and Charles with me. I will defeat you. Klaus. Stop this. You aren't Porky's robot. You're our son. It's getting to him. The masked man looked around, looked around. For some reason, Corman couldn't attack. Ugh. Mortal damage. Still can't attack. Once you find out that that's your brother, you're not just gonna... <sighs> okay, yeah, I'm gonna... Life up. Hold on a second. Before you attack, can you wait till my health goes up? Thanks. <laughs> this is like sort of... Like, uh... That whole thing... Sorry, spoiler alerts, I guess, for Undertale. But, like, that whole thing during a genocide run. When you fight against Sans. And his ultimate attack is nothing. He just stands there. Like, if it's still his turn, you can't attack. That's basically what I'm doing. If it's still my turn, you can't attack. <laughs> I am basically doing Sans' ultimate attack. Ugh. Corman can't couldn't attack. Boom! Boom! Oh, already took mortal damage. Jesus. Ah. Like he hurts. Corman couldn't attack. PK gaming Omega! Corman, look out! Flint jumped in front of Corman. The masked man's attack dealt major damage to Flint. Klaus, please remember. I've been looking for you for so long. The masked man tried PK gaming Omega. Flint suffered major damage. Flint couldn't stand up. The fact that he was able to take 600 points of damage and still be okay, like, still be ready to fight, shows that he's really strong. And now I'm pissed. Ugh. Ugh. Corman. Stop fighting. Oh, this is gonna be real close. You know his voice. Sadly echoed. Missed. Up gamma. Ah, uh, can you just hold your hold your jets for a second? I really shouldn't be making jokes. This is a serious battle, and it's very, very heart wrenching. I've seen this whole thing. Just hold your horses there. I apologize if this is boring, but this is pretty much how you beat him. At least this is how I beat him. I heard I've seen Donna. I don't know if it was the Earthbound Amino or if it was uh, on Twitter, but I seen somebody say they did a 600 hit combo 
on Klaus here. I don't know. Can you even do that? I don't, don't even seem to be able to make any combos whatsoever. Combos. Ouch. 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 Ooh, you're giving me some major ooches here. Hold on. Hold your horses. Nice sword, though. I do like that sword of yours. Klaus is that his his stats are programmed into the game so I wonder like you could probably tweak the game to make it so that he's always in your party ouch shoot me all you want man I got I got pee pee to spare signals here. And of my voice. Doing Porky's voice was... Oh, but I loved it. Oh, I loved it. Like... I can't wait to hear... Like, edit this video so I can hear that voice. Because to me, it sounded... Like the best voice I've ever done. To me. I loved it. I wouldn't mind getting into voice acting. And... Because that, that was fun. I'm good at, like, old man voices, I find. Especially old man perverted voices. Wow. 
gross. To think we would be blessed with two children at once. I bet they're ac they'll accomplish things together that they couldn't alone. I'm sure they'll argue a lot, too. And I can see them helping each other out when they need it. Bet we'll mix them up a lot until they get bigger. Klaus. And Corman, huh? How do you want them to grow up to be? English. To be kind, just like you. just going to say to be kind just like you great then it's decided Klaus Corman Make us proud. Gormit shuts his eyes tightly. Max man attacks. Last man gazed at Corman. Corman attacks. What the frig? Hold up. Since at what point did I say hey Cortana? Here is what I found. <laughs> Way to go, Cortana! You're ruining everything! Jesus! Corman felt heartbroken. The masked man attacks. The masked man covered his ears. Corman attacks. Corman shut his eyes tightly. The masked man attacks. The masked man shut his eyes. Corman attacks. Corman felt heartbroken. The masked man attacks. The masked man gazed at Corman. Corman attacks. Corman shut his eyes tightly. Corman wanted to cry. The masked man attacks. The masked man is gazing at Corman. Klaus. 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 Come to your mother. 
you must be so exhausted. Come here, Klaus. The masked man looked around as if searching for something. here that always gets me. The masked man removed his mask. His face looked just like Corman's. It was Klaus. Klaus fired an intense bolt of lightning. Franklin badge reflected the lightning back. Klaus took mortal damage. Klaus staggered toward Corman. Klaus embraced Corman. Corman remembered Klaus sets Klaus's smell. gonna tear up from this whole thing I'm sorry it turned out like this I'm really happy you could be with me just before the end thanks dad I'm sorry I didn't listen to you I'm going to where mom is now Corman I hope we meet again someday sorry. I'm sure we'll meet again. Klaus gave his final breath. Corman, thank you. Klaus was just hasty, that's all. You'll forgive your hasty brother, won't you? Alright, this is it. The time has come for you to pull the dragon's last needle. Are you ready? Yes. Both Hinawa and Klaus have entrusted fate to you. Believe in yourself and pull that final needle. Nothing needs to be sealed away anymore. Let's make the dark dragon sealed underground our new friend. Pass your heart onto the dragon. Pray to it from the bottom of your heart. Ask it to protect all life in this world. Me and everyone else, we all believe in you. So now, you need to believe in yourself. Now go. The dragon is waiting to wake up. Your life, and the lives of all who believe in you. Will you put it all on the line and pull the final needle? Yes. It 
it's done. rooted to the ground. Oh. See, when I first saw this, I believed that there was another ending. goes also he castle the remainder of the pork the people are trying to get out of here regular people that were brainwashed. I think that's actually the dragon. That is the dragon trying coming out. Say he was the dragon was as big as the islands. question mark but not the end ow watch where you're walking can't you see where you're going it's okay this isn't a dream everything's all backwards here it's a miracle a real miracle it seems everyone's all right like i hit down and the end goes up i thought everything was about to be destroyed but everyone is alive the only way to describe it is as a miracle. Did the dragon's revival give power to all life? That nearly scared me to death. But I guess this is what they mean by a crisis gone is easily forgotten. In any case, everyone's just peachy keen now. That was scary. That was very definition of scary. Say, are you gamers? Oh, you're okay. That's great. What a relief. Oh, that's what I named the gamers everywhere. Hey, everybody. Gamers is over here doing just fine. Gamers. Corman said he wanted to meet you. Yeah, I want to meet you all, you gamers. Gamers, thank you so much for everything and for helping Corman and the others. This world might have been completely destroyed had it not been for you. To be honest, I was so scared the moment Corman pulled the last needle. I did have faith, though. I had faith, but I felt a kind of fear so bad that I almost expected my entire body to blow apart. But as you can see, everyone is just fine. We've regained something incredibly immense. 
Don't know why, but I can't stop my tears from coming out. What is this feeling? What could it be? This is this is the first time I've ever seen you cry, Altricia. You're really cute now that I look. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Stop it, stop it! Stop stepping on me! Even mole crickets are living creatures too, you know. I didn't even know you were there, Mr. Mole Cricket. Poke, poke. He who poked you in the back. Guess who? Incidentally, I'm Wes. And it, was, it wasn't me. I'm Alec. I didn't poke you in the back, gamers. He's playing innocent, but Wes was the one who did it. We're both alive and well. Isn't that right? We're both well. Oxygen? Oh, yeah. I love some oxygen. No, thank you. Oh, have we met somewhere before? My, me? My name is Rope Snake. I was just considering living a quiet life as a snake rope now. If you happen to find the, that kind of sad, then please talk to me and say thanks. And your jaw saved us all. No ordinary snake could have done that. No ordinary, nor an ordinary rope. This conversation turned into everybody long just like the snake I am, but I'm pleased to make your acquaintance. Gamers, was it? I'll be certain to etch that name into my mind. Have a good new year. Have a good new year. Ah! Salsa! Or, well, salsa, yeah, but, uh, Pedro! Now that my saving job is over, I think I'll settle down and take care of the tadpoles. Thank you for everything. No, wait, it's the other way around. Trip down. Trip down, hit nose on ground. I'm doing well, too. Okay, good. Are you bony, or are you just uh, a random dog? You touch something rolling around. The rolling thing wobbles with glee. Well, Porky's still alive. There seems to be something inside, but you can't really tell what it is. Your hit, your foot hit something small and round. It's a doorknob. Got the doorknob. Oh, gamers! Thanks, I feel so utterly incredibly thankful for everything you've done. Thanks for everything. I wish we could always be together. We just met, now we have to say goodbye. All the people of this world are saved, thanks to you. Thank you, gamers. That was fun, gamers. Let's meet again sometime. We can meet as many times as we want. Yeah, we can. Gamers, but you won't remember, because I'll restart the game. Bye. What's the world like out there? It looks like things will work out here, but what about your world? Will you be all right? I'll be fine. Hey, other world, be good to gamers. Yeah. Yeah, other world, be good to gamers. Stop blaming us whenever things go wrong. Thanks. Goodbye. 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 Thank you so much. Come back sometime. Thanks for everything. Gamers, we'll meet again sometime, right? Don't forget us. Goodbye. Thanks. We sure had a lot of fun, didn't we? Who's trying to talk to me? Thanks. Was that, like, Lucas? Like, Corman? <sighs> and that's the end. Time for the credits. Oh my god, what a trip. Mmm. Such a wonderful cast of characters. Get it, Lighter. Get it. I know you can do it. Nice. Lighter fuel. Bronson! Oh, I'm gonna say that that's Bernard. I'm gonna say that's just Bernard. It's a chicken, I'm gonna say it's Bernard. Bernard's in the credits! Bernard is in the credits. I had Bernard straight to the end. Oh. This has been incredibly fun. It's always good to go back and play Mother 3, and I probably will play it again some other time. Like, on my own. Because I just love the Mother series. It's so fun. It, it makes you happy, it makes you cry, it makes you laugh. It's really a great series. Jesus, this has actually been going on for an hour. Wow, I didn't think... 
I didn't think it would be that long. Oh, poor Scamp. Hey, Scamp! Woo! Nippolite! That's the- Nippolite! That was your name. Okay. And the zombies. Now, Brenda, Donna, Bob. Jesus. Nana! Good old Nana. At one point, I once thought that Nana was Paula. Because she, she's blonde and she has the same dress. Kind of. But then I realized that Nana gets, like, is a young child. And then grows up. Like, she's the same age as Lucas and them. Way to go, Wes! Bust a move! You can do it! But yeah, I realized that Nana was uh, the same age as, like, Lucas, I think, or something like that. And... I was like, okay, that can't be possible. Can't be possible that Nana is Paula, because Paula would be older than Lucas. Or should anything be older. Like, much older. TCMC! Welcome back, Lucky! Yeah, you hit that base, yeah. Neckbeard, skinhead. The robotic maids. Altricia! Pew! Why did she also run? Is she, did she come back for something? I can't remember. Dr. Andonuts! Who is like in almost every game but one. Mr. Pump! Dry Guy! Bucket Bros! Ah, uh, Bucket Bros, Dry Guy, you did your best, and we enjoyed the fun times there, but... Clayman! Ah, oh, one of them busted. Ultimate Chimera. That thing is still terrifying to this day. Like, ugh. Ugh. The Mr. Saturn! Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 ding. Ah, Mr. Saturn are trying. Almost. They need, like, a couple more. Letter! Rope Snake. So this has been an absolute blast. Like, to come back and revisit this. Who are these people? Just random people? Are they just the random peeps? Yeah, they're just the random peeps. Yeah, all these random peeps. Hmm. But I will continue to actually have a place in my heart for this game. Always. This and Earthbound. Mother 1, I'll go back every now and then, but I don't like it as much as the other two. Because of... I think it's because of the difficulty spike, and you have to, like, grind to get through it. I've only beaten Mother 1 twice. Um, Mother 2, I can't even tell you the amount of times I've beaten that game. Let me see. Let me see if I can count it. Um, I've had Mother... I've had Earthbound since it came out in 1995. We're in 2019 right now. Um, so... I was five when I got it. So, it's been... Like, this is... This year actually marks... Earthbound's 25th anniversary. So it's been 25 years. Almost 25 years since Earthbound came out. And I've been playing it at least once every year. So that's 25 times alone. But naturally I played it more than once when I was younger. Because I would beat it and then replay it. So, I'm going to say it would be close to a good 30 to 40 times that I've played Earthbound. That I've beaten it. That's just an estimate. Mother 3, 
I want to say it was... It's been... This might be the third time I've beaten it? Yeah. Because I want to say... I beat it once when it first came out as the the fan translation came out. I beat it once. And then I beat it I didn't beat it again until just recently, like about a year or two ago. And then this would be the third time. I don't like it as much as Earthbound, because with Earthbound, yeah, there's some talking to it, talking in it, but this one is more story-driven. The other one just feels like an adventure. Like an adventure that you take on your own with your friends. Talk about a trip down memory lane. I want to end things here, but I want to give credence to, like, give credit to all these. Show the credits just so you can see the fine people who made this game. And just have a trip. Just take a look at these pictures and see the fun times we had. Will I play Mother 3 on uh, the channel again? Probably. I'm talking like if I could find uh, a ROM hack that changes something, like a randomizer maybe, or if I come up with uh, a challenge for myself, then maybe. Or I'll do a live stream once I get into live streaming, but that's just... But so far, this is this is it. I probably won't go back to it. If I'm going back to it, I'll be playing it myself. But I've had my fill of Mother 3 for a while now. I had fun. I had fun all the way through. I know I played it. It took me, what, a year to beat it? <laughs> a, a more than a year to beat it? But I'm glad I went, came back to it, and I'm glad I finished it. It's... I, my only regret is that I stopped. And it's not my fault. I Things just didn't... Things just didn't go well. Things just weren't putting into place. So there was times when I had to stop for a while. Relax. Take a break. I need this, but I am glad I came back to it. And it's over. At some point, I will want to go back and beat some of the other games that I've, I have on this channel that I haven't beaten yet, but... That may be for another time. Maybe when I get popular and I run out of ideas. That is the best 
ending picture of all time. Just seeing him now, oh, it's gotten to me again. I'm starting to tear up just seeing that. I'm going to miss Bernard and Charles. Even though Bernard was with me more than anything. Bernard was with me late near the beginning of the game. I kept Bernard to the very end. He didn't do anything for me, but I had Bernard. He had comedic relief every so often. I'm glad that Bernard and Charles was me, with me. And maybe they'll be with me with other games. If I get a chicken or a dragonfly in another game, it'll be Bernard and Charles. Anyway, this video has gone on way too long. It's been an hour and 11 minutes now. So, thank you so much for sticking with me to the very end if you watch this entire series. And if you're seeing this episode and for some reason watch the whole thing straight to the end, this whole hour long episode, watch the whole series. If not for me, watch because of Mother 3. It's Mother 3. You should watch it anyway. But I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you look forward to what else I have coming. I think I'm going to do something Earthbound. A little quick thing for Earthbound because I want to go back and play Earthbound. And I got another few things that I want to do that's quick and maybe one or two episodes. But then I want to get to another big game and get through that. I've got a lot of games I want to play on this channel. And I hope you're excited for them as I am once we start. So until then, I thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this series, subscribe, because there's going to be more series like it. Like, I plan on playing more Mother Series stuff, whether it's Nuzlocke Challenges or fan games. Speaking of fan games, if you know any fan games that I may not know of, or if you just know any fan games, let me know down in the comment section below, and I'll have a look at them, and maybe do them on this channel. But I've taken up too much of your time. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.